Hi, so welcome to Saturday Morning Bakes. Uh, today I wanted to do a little bit of experimenting. Um, I know in Japan, maybe, uh, rice based, rice flour based breads are becoming more popular. Somebody said it was because wheat prices were going up, but I, I also think, I mean, like rice prices are probably up as well. So, um, but this is just a gluten free option because I know that there are some people watching there that, uh, or just looking for that. Sorry, I'm just trying to brush all of the <laughs> rice off of the bag. Um, so, this one's interesting because in Korea, there is something called makgeolli bread, which is made from their, um, essentially their unfiltered rice wine. And they use that to be the leavener, to, to be like the yeast for the bread. Um, and I will be making a makgeolli recipe, an old ancient makgeolli recipe, but uh, I actually, I ended up buying the nuruk, which is the, essentially the yeast that feeds off of the rice that makes that makes the wine. And I thought that, okay, if I wanted to try rice bread, I wanted to not use just like normal baker's yeast, normal bread yeast to do it, but I wanted to try to use probably a yeast that is used to feasting on rice already. So today, uh, probably two main ingredients, we're using rice flour and um, be really careful about this because rice flour, there's short grain rice, which produces more of like a starchy gummy texture. And then there's longer grain rice. So you're using rice flour and not glutinous rice flour. So just make sure of that. Um, and then, yeah, if you can get your hands on this, I'll try to put a link uh, in the description. Um, and yeah, like maybe if not, you could try just putting some makgeolli in instead of instead of water. So uh, that is, yeah, let's, let's start this bread. So first off, I very much underestimated how hard these chunks of nuruk were. And so I think I came back in like six, maybe eight hours and they were, you know, they were still quite hearty. So I would say soak them, soak them overnight, or maybe stick them in a blender so that they are a lot smaller before you add in this water to soften them. So this has taken some time to actually rehydrate and I thought that you can still see some of the grains and I thought I'd strain it out but I thought it might be nice to just keep it in there so that you could see it in the white uh, whiteness of the rice bread. Last thing that people do is they always add a little bit of oil at the end to keep the bread nice and moist but I just thought okay well we don't do that with sourdough and it's completely fine and I also just didn't want to add in oil to my bread so I'm, I'm going to use water uh, hopefully it turns out fine but you can sub that with a little bit of vegetable oil if you want and like the consistency that I saw was kind of that of like a paint, like a glue kind of, I guess this is okay. <laughs> see the bits 
bits of the nuruk, like the barley and the grain and the rice <laughs> bran. It's kind of nice. Another thing that I struggled with the nuruk though was that I knew it wasn't as strong as yeast. So I put about 7.5 grams in there and my guess is if I had put more it might have worked quicker. But after a couple of hours I wasn't really seeing any bubbles. So I essentially I just waited overnight um, and that's when I started seeing some action. Okay, so a bit of a divot in the middle. It could have been, you know, overproofed because I did not know how long to do it for and I don't know. I didn't know what was going on under there. I can see the holes that the nuruk made and you can see the little bits of grain that's left over. I mean, it feels like it's a bread that's made from rice, right? Because it's a little bit heavier. I mean, it is made from rice. And then the smell is just ever so, it's tangy. It's like a sourdough rice bread, I guess. quite good. The taste is not as tangy as it smells. It's just, it's like savory, but ever so slightly tangy. Yeah, it's light, but heavy at the same time because it's made from rice. So, but I could see this, I could see this in a sandwich and work perfectly well.